What's going on guys? Welcome back to Mystery Box Monday. Yes, I hope everybody's had a fantastic week. I hope you've all been able to add something awesome into your collections. And as you can see here, I've added a few good things into the collection this week. So yeah, kick back, relax, and uh, we will get right on into it. Starting with the Matchbox Moving Parts. Yes, the 2018 Land Rover Vogue SE. A very, very cool looking car. There's also a black version of this from a couple of years ago now, about two years ago now. So it's very nice to get the white version finally. Very nice looking car, it's got the opening rear hatch. Very, very cool. So yeah, let's just crack it open. All right, get the rubbish out of the way. We don't want that. There we go, very nice looking metallic white paint we'll close the hatch up just while we can do a quick little look around of it nice choice of wheels they look pretty nice there it's kind of like a black chrome very nicely done headlight details and grille details wow look at that that's really really nice range rover on the top of the bonnet there all these extra lights and everything are all painted up such great detail on the headlights there kind of Kind of impressive, I have to say. That looks really, really nice. On the side here, we have these black vents, and we also have another little black stripe going along the base. Just along there, very cool. Uh, yeah, the wheels look very, very nice. Has the blacked out section around the windows. Yeah, not a bad looking car. Uh, left hand drive seems to have like a grey interior. The lights on the side there look a little bit off, but that's probably just this casting. Yep, they're there as well. Not entirely sure what that is. I'll have to have a look at the real life version of this car to get an understanding of what these little sections are. Or you could put it in the comments and make it easier for everybody. Uh, on the back there we have the Range Rover badge. We've got Range Rover or Land Rover. Is it Range Rover? Is that a Land Rover, Range Rover? A Land Rover Vogue. Sorry, my mistake. I was calling it a Range Rover because it says Range Rover there, but it says Land Rover there. <laughs> How funny. And so, yeah, Land Rover and Range Rover. Pretty cool. Anyway, let's get into the uh, the opening feature. We won't concentrate too much on the naming of it. Uh, as you see in the back there, it has that opening hatch. This is a plastic piece there. And you see in the back there, it looks pretty cool. Not a bad looking interior. And once again, we'll just have a look at the base for you guys that like to see the base. There we go. Not bad. I have to say, this white version actually looks really, really cool. Quite happy to have that one there. So, yeah, very nice. Very nice. Um, yeah, quite a few items in today's box. Picked up a couple more of these Matchbox Retros range I think these are called. Uh, this is the Ford Mustang LX and this is in a police livery so yeah pretty cool nice looking card art very retro design on the card with the colors and the uh, police car looks pretty cool so let's crack this one here open also throw the rubbish away oh that's pretty nice nice metallic silver paint it's got the clear light bar on top that looks pretty cool and what do we have on the side here? State Police 5.0. Uh, State Police on the side in a black with gold stripe. Uh, it's got the gold coat of arms. And service above and beyond the call. Awesome. Comes with the pretty nice looking hubcap wheels. The lens headlights on there too. That's pretty awesome. Uh, black bumper. This side here has the same tampo as the other side. Very cool, it's got a little area for the fuel cap. And on the back there are no rear light details, but still pretty nice. It's got the black bumper on the back there as well. Yeah, not bad, not bad. I don't have very many of this model Mustang. Ford Mustang LX SSP. Awesome, and is there any kind of computer screen inside here? There is a little police computer screen in the center there. It's kind of hard to see. And on the back there you can see where all the police lights are also. That's pretty, pretty nice looking addition. 
try and get some sort of an angle where we can get some light in here. A little bit hard, but there is actually a police computer in the center there. So very nice that the interior is also done as a police interior. Sweet. That's pretty cool. Uh, next up, we're going to also open another car. We're going to open this car too, but we, this whole section here is unfortunately not going to get open today, but will be open in future episodes. So make sure you uh, come back and check out those when they are actually released as a full review. Uh, next up, also from this retro range, is the 75 Chevy van. Very awesome looking card art. I like that one a lot. And this one here has a tiki theme going on there. So that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, let's crack it open. Very nice sky blue color. It has a kind of like a, a wood grain effect on the sides there. That's pretty cool. It's got the tiki masks. Very nice and tiki there. And it also says tiki cruiser. Cool. It's got a little window in the back there. I like that. That one looks really cool. So one thing I really like about vans is when they have the side graphics on them. I think they all look pretty awesome when they do that. On the front there you can see the Chevy bow tie, you can see the headlight detail and such like that. Not painted on but nicely, nice and clean in the grill there, in the casting itself. Very hard to see in the window but I'm sure that there is an interior in there somewhere. Uh, I'm not entirely 100% positive on that. It could very well just be a black piece of plastic with no interior. So if anybody has opened one of these or has another version of this casting with uh, a visible interior, please put it down in the comments because I wouldn't mind knowing. Um, but yeah, I think this one looks pretty nice. It's got the barn doors on the back there. And yeah, the windows just look like a black piece of plastic. Very, very hard to see through if they are a natural transparent window. And there's the base there for you guys as well. Alright, we'll pop that guy up there. And the last car we're going to open for today before we start checking out these awesome new premiums is the uh, 55 Chevy from the Chevy Bel Air series. Yes, the new 2022 Hot Wheels range. Uh, there is also a super treasure hunt version of this, which would be absolute dream to find. I would love to find that beautiful car. I love the 55 Chevy out of all the Hot Wheels Chevy castings. Uh, this one here is one of my favorites as, along with the uh, the 65 Chevy Impala. I also like that one too. But yeah, let's check this one here out. There we go. I am very happy that this has the whole front headlight grill badging detail and everything done like that. It looks fantastic. I love the chrome grill and bumper. Headlights look mint and the Chevy badge on the front there. That looks very, very, very nice. Very nicely done. It's also got these little extra parts on the front bumper there too. On the side here, have the uh, beautiful metallic blue paint job. Love that. Nice five spoke wheels. And on the side here, you have that black with silver pinstriping on the side there. Bel Air on the side there. Uh, chrome door handles and chrome trim look absolutely Awesome, very, very nicely done. Has a kind of like a light brown or a light tan color interior, nice and clean. And on the back there, we have the chrome bumper, but no tail light details, unfortunately. But that's okay. I think that I think that looks pretty awesome just as it is, and especially because I'm going to be displaying this front on like that. I think that looks absolutely very nice looks awesome absolutely fantastic and there's the base for you guys there too 55 chevy love that very nice very nice and pop that guy there all right now let's get on to checking out some of these premiums that i found yes um yeah i just wanted to do a little bit of a a few open cars for you guys because i know that the majority of this show is just going to be a visual check for today's episode and then future episodes we will go in and do a complete review of these cars so uh yeah uh probably going to do this set here on friday this is the new boulevard set or the new boulevard assortment that i was able to find and um, this is 35 to 40 i do believe that's all the cars on this we've already seen these on previous episodes and today we have 
going to check out these two cars so very happy that we were able to find all of the cars to complete the set this one here looks really really nice i do like this the 1997 mercedes-benz clk jtr lovely metallic silver paint job it's got the d2 private racing livery headlight grille details beautifully done racing sponsors all over the front of it there too bridgestone mobile one all of that lovely choice of wheels like those as the racing sponsor on the side there again more racing sponsors on the back there lots of detail on this rear brake lights mobile one big huge wing on the top there with also mobile one on the top just a very very cool looking car I am, I'm very excited to open this one I, I think that this one here out of all of the cars in this set this one is by far the best one that's the coolest one out of the lot love that and uh, yeah they, the rest of them are okay but if I had the choice of only being able to buy one car from this entire set would have been this one that is just incredible I love the look of that very nice and next up we have the Volkswagen Kafer Racer from the Boulevard set number 39 there's the card art for that one there pretty nice looking car it's kind of a uh, like a, a sand color it's got the headlight details it's got the Volkswagen badge on the front there nice wheel choice with the four spokes and this is the Thunder Beetle so as you can see it's kind of like a stretched Volkswagen Beetle with all the aerodynamics on it really really cool the exhaust coming out the back and it's got a huge wing at the back there uh, but not really a lot of detail like there's no brake lights on this one I would have thought surely they would put brake lights on this too uh, at least it has got the front headlights I guess so yeah pretty cool looking car a, a really wild looking casting but very minimal actual uh, details on that you'll have to let me know what you guys think of this one considering that this one here's got an insane amount of detail painted all over it uh, next up we were able to complete the Toyota set we've got the last two cars that we needed uh, one of them being the Toyota Supra really really cool I'm glad I was able to find this one all the headlight details badging is very nicely done once again a really really nice choice of wheel love those new wheels big huge wing on the back there and all those details on the back and Gen 4 on the license plate very nice very very nice so yeah uh, there's the other cars that are in this set we already had a look at these two and the 2000 GT uh, so finally able to complete this set very happy for that and the last car from the Toyota set we needed to find was the Toyota Land Cruiser FJ60 and this is incredibly hard to find uh, very very happy that I was actually able to get this it's a very heavy casting as well I love the card art on that too nice classic old-fashioned colors Toyota on the badge headlight details it's got your metal base with the bash plates and everything like that there nice paneling on the side kind of like a fake wood paneling nice wheel choice uh, Land Cruiser badge on the back there and all the details on the back there as well plus there's also a sticker on the back window that is really cool I can't quite work out what the sticker actually is but that's awesome that they have put that on there very nice so yeah very very happy to finally find these last two insanely hard to find cars and also speaking of insanely hard to find cars we found the last two cars that we needed for the fast and furious superstars fast superstars set and uh, one of them being the Toyota GR Supra very very nice a lot of really nice looking detail on this one as well with the headlights badging black bonnet side black pieces as well nice blacked out wheels a really really cool looking car and all those really nicely painted details on the back there as well so yes very very happy to find this and this is also in a matte orange it's not a gloss orange that's a just to say a, a matte orange so really really nicely done uh, there's the rest of the cars that are in this series we've already checked out these three 
Uh, but now we check out the Skyline and the Supra. And the Skyline, oh, I am so happy that I found this. Love this one here. Uh, Skyline GTR BNR34 from the Fast Superstars series. Really cool looking card art there. I think that looks absolutely awesome. And the nice dark blue paint job. All your headlight details painted up there beautifully. Nice wheels. Got your badging on the side. You got your indicator on the side there. It's got the vented bonnet too. Big wing on the back. And all those really lovely rear details there too. Wow. Ah, oh, it's just so awesome. I just, today's been a pretty good episode just because I've been able to finally find some of these last cars from these sets. It's just been kind of impossible to find some of these things. Especially the JDM stuff. The JDM stuff is really popular around my area. Next up, we have another new set. I'm going to bring these out of the box because I want to have display room. Uh, this is the new American Scene set. Very, very cool. It's got the Ford Bronco R, the race version of it. Uh, there you go, you can see the card art for it there. How cool is that? Nice mint green kind of colour with a white roof. Uh, Bronco on the front there with the headlight grille section. Nice white off-road wheels. Got your Ford Performance racing livery stuff on the side. It's got a roll cage. Around the back it's got spare wheels. And uh, what does that say? Bronco R on the license plate too. It's got this kind of weird metal cage thing to hold the spare wheel in so yeah pretty cool kind of like a trophy truck style of vehicle very nice now i'll show you the back there these are the rest of the cars in this set and yes we do have a complete set yes i was able to find all five of these so it, admittedly it did take me almost a week to find all five of them but we did do it. We found all five before we actually got to the next episode. So yeah, there we go. Ford Bronco R is number three. Uh, number two is the 69 Chevy Chevelle SS396. Once again, really nice card art there too. Beautiful orange paint with the black racing stripes over the top there. Headlight detail, grille detail painted in there too. Nice creamy wheels. Uh, the SS badging on the side there looks awesome. Black interior. Got a little bit of silver over the wheel arches also. And on the back, all those tail light badging and that black stripe there on the back there looks really, really cool. Very, very nice. Pop that down there. Next up, we have the number four is the 2020 Dodge Charger Hellcat. And this is insanely awesome. Nice card art there on the back there showing that big bright red uh, brake light there. Really cool. Nice bright green with the black roof. Blacked out five spoke wheels. Nice headlight details in there as well. It's got that crazy bonnet on the front there too with the vents. And on the back there you can see all of the rear lighting detail. You've got the SRT, you've got the charger, that light bar. That looks so cool. Wow. And a little bit of a wing on the back there as well. That is just so cool. Very, very happy to have this in the collection. I love that. Uh, we'll just add that one there. Next up we have number five of five is the new Tesla Roadster. This is you know, like a metallic silver, metallic silver with the black roof bonnet area. Got the headlights painted up, Tesla badge on the front there, very nice. A little bit hard to see the detail, but it looks pretty awesome. Let's even get a look at the interior. You can kind of see through the roof there. A little bit hard to see, but it does have a clear roof piece on it. On the side, it's got the aero disc wheels, a little bit of black paint there. I'm not sure what that is, a little bit of badging or something possibly. And on the back it says Tesla with the brake lights, everything like that, looking really, really sharp. Very nice. Card art looks really, really cool as well. So yes, very, very happy to add this one here into the collection also. Uh, we'll pop this one over there. And the last one, number five, or should I say number one, 
uh, when you buy a box of these and it comes with the 10 cars it, you normally would get two complete sets but at the moment what they're doing is they're putting in a number zero yes there is a chase vehicle for this set so uh, yeah make sure you find it before the scalpers do get one into your collection because it's pretty nice having two variations of the same vehicle and here we have the Corvette C8R nice red white and blue color theme going on headlight details look fantastic badging light nice wheel choice with the chromes as well uh, big huge wang on the back there and all that awesome lighting detail in there as well uh, race diffuser everything like that so a really really cool looking car Corvette on the window banner absolutely love that that is really cool and it's very nice to add another Corvette into the collection and the last one yes we did find it we got the chase this is the blacked out version of the Corvette C8R there's your card art for that all blacked out so you can see the difference just there and this one here has kind of carbon fiber effect on the front with the white stripe still has the Corvette badging uh, the main details are the same but the colors are changed and this has a, a carbon fiber effect going along the back there so really really awesome this is one of those cars where you just have to see it in person to really appreciate just how cool it looks so yeah um, I've got two of each of these I just need to find a, another one of each of the rest of those so yes I was lucky enough to be able to find two of these and two of these so we're already on our way to doing a actual open unboxing of the full set plus a chase review so yes make sure you come back for that because that's going to be absolutely awesome because I very rarely open a chase on my show uh, mainly because I very rarely ever find them <laughs> uh, next up we have a couple more things I think I'll just show something first and then we're going to open a, the last two items of the show yes I added another Back to the Future DeLorean to my collection and this one is a Hot Wheels Monster Trucks version. Really, really cool. It's got all of the detail on it. Really love that. Still got that Zamac finish to it, that bare metal effect. But this has all of the details all over the side, all over the back there as well. Absolutely, insanely cool amount of detail on this. Very, very happy to find this and add this into the Back to the Future collection. Because as you know, uh, Back to the Future is like one of the coolest movies of all time. <laughs> I'm sure that a lot of people will, will agree that Back to the Future is like literally one of the best movies ever. Um, next up, we have two items left. So we're going to pull both of them into the show. Into the... there? Um, yes. Uh, because I kind of felt bad about not having too much to show on today's episode. We're going to open this. Uh, plus we're also going to open up this yes this is the yellow version of the 2020 Chevy Corvette a couple of weeks ago we opened up the red version uh, which was red with black stripes and this one here is just uh, accelerate yellow and there's some extra information there too very very cool card art too true 164 and uh, there's some extra mumbo jumbo you can pause and read that if you wish so let's get this guy out be a little bit careful with the card because I do like to keep the cards for certain certain vehicles. Don't want to completely destroy it, uh, just because it makes storage of the vehicles a lot easier when it's when it's actually got the original packaging. Uh, this is really really nicely done. Silver headlights, got the black racing stripes, Corvette logo on the front there, uh, blacked out sections there for the grill vents and everything like that. Nice black five spoke wheels, uh, more black paint there over some more of the ducting. Really, really cool. Oh, you can see the engine is red in there as well. Uh, this also has a red interior. I don't know if you'll be able to see that properly because the window line is so low, but it does actually have a really, really cool red interior. Uh, on the back there, we have really nice details as well. Love those lights. They kind of look like they're lensed, but I don't believe they are. I don't think that they're lensed lights, are they? No, no, I don't believe that they're lensed. They just look really, really nicely painted up. 
uh, exhaust on the base there on the rear diffuser that was really cool and C8 later <laughs> that's pretty nice and it's got the uh, the racing strut going over the third brake as well that's interesting uh, but what we want to see there's a little stingray on the back there too what we want to see is we want to see some sort of engine yeah oh that little window on the top of this looks makes it a lot easier to show off the actual engine color wow that's really nice hopefully you guys can actually see all the detail in there kind of hard to see really nice got a little tiny boot in the back there as well but they're very very happy to add, add this one here into the collection also very nice uh, I'm just gonna sit this guy just there and the last one yes we're gonna open it I was thinking about making this into its own separate episode but then I went nah I'm gonna open it here because there's not really that much open stuff on today's episode all right get that rubbish out of the way we don't need that because this will go onto my desk with all my other team transports how cool all right we'll put the super down for a moment and we'll check out the truck and this is the aero lift truck with the gr on the top there with the red and black red interior it's got lens headlights blacked out grill uh, more lighting detail and grill detail on the front there as well uh, black bumper white black and red color theme going on there uh, it's got extra racing sponsors on the side nice wheel choice too they look pretty cool wonder what kind of wheels these ones are uh, this has the tilt back and slide tray which is really cool you can just go put that down and just drive straight up there you go lift it up on your way that's it pretty cool i do quite like that i like the flatbed trucks uh, no brake light detail unfortunately it's got some straps or stuff on the on there as well not entirely sure what that is for but there really cool really really cool and there it is the aero lift with all your extra details very nice and then the last thing is the GR Supra nice white full detail all those details on the front there badging grill racing sponsors no, extra red and black paint there nice blacked out wheels I like the color theme going on there as well it's got your racing sponsors on the side there uh, you can see it's left hand drive and there all of that really beautiful painted detail on the back there too it's got that cool rear diffuser really cool that looks absolutely awesome so yeah what a cool way to start uh, to end off the show with a very very awesome set of cars absolutely cool love that so yeah you'll have to uh, let me know which one was your favorite throughout this episode uh, quite a few premiums today not too much got open but we did open some pretty cool stuff I think um, yeah I'm gonna leave it there I'm gonna wish you all a fantastic week and I will see you all then bye guys